Um, so now I'm doing the inside bits, um, and this is the inside of our van. Um, as Rob said before, this is a second-hand van, so we didn't really get any say in the spec or the layout or anything, but it happens to work actually really well for us. So um, this is obviously the bedroom, the business end, um, and it's got tons and tons of storage. So underneath here is a gas strut. Um, oh, let me just see. There we go. Gas strut with tons and tons of storage under there. So. We use that for things that we don't need every single day. Sorry, I'll lift it up a bit more. Things we don't need every single day, um, or if we do use it, then it's towards the front, um, if we use it regularly. But yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a rethink about that because there is some built-in storage in there, which we think takes up a little bit too much extra space. So we'll probably get rid of that. But loads of, I'll just use it over here. So this is all of our, you know, like shorts and things that don't need to be hung. And we've got our hanging space in here. We've still got stuff we haven't used. And we've got drawers beside all of our beds as well, um, on either side. And we've got tons of power as well. So you can see on my side over there, I've actually got my Apple chargers that are plugged in. Um, so there's that power, but then there's also more power down here beside the drawers. So we've got, I don't know, four or six sort of power outlets. This one here that I currently ducked around, we normally have that up against the wall um, when we're um, in, the van and not really watching it but it can come right out um, we've got a couple of different arms that we can use so we've got this one here if we are like more bedroom situated we've never used that yet because we don't tend to watch um, telly in bed but it's there if we want it and then we've got this one here which can be for the bed but might be a bit close um, or we've also or it can move more into if Rob swings around our buffet dining area as well um, just behind here, I did forget to, sh to show you, we've got some more storage there, but it's not important. Um, but if a, a few of the friends that have asked us to do this have said to us, you know, how do we manage the storage and things like that. But honestly, for and you all know us, we're very, very messy. Um, we don't want to be, but we are by nature. But we found this actually, like this is my pantry. And I've got huge pantries and a butler's pantry at home. And I manage on this and don't look at the amount of crisps that we have in this household but you know we've got so much storage here um and we still you know this up here we've got more down there we've got more underneath our full size fridge which is a really good size fridge for um for it is a bit of a tetris kind of thing in there like you don't want to actually try it like rob actually often asks me to get things out it's a bit tetrisy but but there's still a heck of a lot of storage space in there for a um, for a caravan fridge and I can feel something's moved in there oh that's just our vodka um, which is very important for any trip I recommend um, um, but yeah the buffet seating um, is really really comfy we're really happy with it the modern vans these days have um, they've got the and like a lot of you that have I said, oh, how do you manage at night and such a small space and things like that. But the modern vans these days have the fold out things here. So you can actually lean back and you can actually have your feet out. That's why we bought those um, foot pull phase because we figured, look, we'll use them here and then back home we can still use them. So they're really flexible for us. So, um, and this table as well. We find, you know, we tuck it away during the day, but, you know, for evening meals, it turns just into a dining table. It doesn't turn into a bed, so a few people have asked us that as well. So it, we don't have that flexibility to have somebody else sleep in here, unless um, our son, Johnny, might, if, if he needs to, might actually go, who would actually do this to their son, but we would, on a blow-up mattress in the floor in the kitchen if he needs to. But he does have a swag, so if it's safe enough and all that kind of stuff, we'll just throw him in a swag outside and he'll be fine. Um, we've got lots more storage up here. Haven't really used that, that's more like just junk stuff and you know, like extra storage. Um, but this is our charging station, so that's where we do all of, um, and Rob mainly looks after that, so that's where um, all of our charging of the batteries, we, everything that we have is basically um, Ryobi, so the, for everything from the vac, We've got um, little vacuum cleaners, we've got torches, we've got little night lights, everything that we've got is Ryobi, so the battery just changes over from one to the other and we find it incredibly convenient, like, fantastic. Um, the only other thing I think with power is to probably just go over here. So we find that with the solar heating and things like that, we don't tend to need to use um, the gas boosters and things much, but they are there if we need them. 
um, on the days when I am washing my hair and things like that we might need to just whack on the, the gas booster um, but that's kind of like the, the hub of the, the house so to speak um, what we did as well when we first got the van and Rob did this is we bought these Scirocco fans so they there's one over the bed as well um, so we can actually when we're sleeping that twists um, around to just face our sleeping positions and normally it's to me because I have my ladies menopausal flushes um, but then when we're using it during the day um, it just flashes around and it's absolutely awesome we love it um, and then we've got just down here, um, it's actually a really decent sized kitchen. So we've got this roll out, roll in pantry, tons of storage under here um, for my pots and pans and my barbecue stuff is under there. I've got a little mini oven. And then here we've got um, our three gas cookers and an electric cooker. Um, and then a little mini oven under there. I haven't used that at all yet because I've found that I've just enjoyed cooking on the Barbie and I like the flavours that the Barbie gives me. So, um, but that's really handy for just uh, boiling a kettle in the morning, which is what we tend to do. Um, and yeah, just everything's really organised in here. Um, I'm not even going to bother showing that, but it's, yeah, we've just tried to be as organised as we can and make use of every single space. Things like, um, our soda streams, even the TV we take off the wall, um, but things like this that are not really going to come into much damage if we just lay them on the bed, that's actually what we do. We just take them off, lay them on the bed and then that's where they stay and they don't move um, while we're travelling. So, and then we just, then we easily just pop them back up um, and put them in their spaces. The only other thing that I have found is that when we're travelling, um, I use every single little space to not only make it safe, but this is an empty box. Why wouldn't I use it for storage? So um, I just pop like shopping bags and things like that in there that, that are soft, keep the um, glass plate weighed down and I'm using my storage. Final bit, I won't bother going through that, but um, it's obviously three bays. What, what, what's the term, baby? Uh, Three-way fridge. Three-way fridge. Three-way fridge. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we- So I guess, um, 240 volts and 12 volts. So even though I do, I turn it all over, I don't actually know what it's all called, sorry. Um, <laughs> but, um, and it's probably too big in there for, probably too small in there for both of us, but anyway. Um, so this is our little ensuite, um, such as it is. So um, obviously Rob very kindly takes care of looking after the loo um, when we need to go to dump points and things like that. Uh, tons of storage in here as well like absolutely everywhere um, we still haven't used it we've got a wash washing machine which is spun out yay baby um, so we've got a washing machine in our caravan which is awesome so we would never have kind of considered some of the things in here but it's handy and a nice decent sized shower too like it's pretty big in here I mean you don't really need to see the whole thing but it's nice size and a lot of them aren't that big yeah and it's actually light. pretty even though it looks really dark and yellowy on that footage it's trust me it's clean so it's clean um so that's i think about it we've got tons of these like little usb ports and 12 volt um, power ports around as well as your um, standard power um and all of our screens are midi screens um we don't have them down at the moment because we've got the aircon on so um the aircon itself that broke um it actually didn't break what happened is the remote broke so we just got a universal remote and works a treat um, yeah, so now we can adjust. For that. yeah yeah um and i think that's about it you know like we love um you know there's again more storage i still haven't shown you underneath both of these bench seats and that so the things that we've been asked about is just how difficult it is um to live uh, in a tiny little compact space, even though we're only on the holidays, we don't live on the road, as you all know, um, but we do live in a little compact space for this holiday period, and that's not like us normally. Um, but we have found it really easy. The thing that um, a few of you have said is, what's the biggest thing in our first Gumby experience that we've kind of learned? Um, and most of it, to be honest, is just about really simple things, like making sure you've got your checklist done, 
we've found a couple of times that we've left a campsite and we've gone, oh, I left that blooming connection connected to the water connection. The connector, yeah, yeah. yeah. Left so it died twice. Really simple things. Yeah. And you think to yourself, yeah, yeah, I've done it. No, actually walk through the list. And a lovely lady gave me a, a hot tip at one of the sites. She put her notes section on a checklist. Um, I can't believe I was this day old until I learnt that, but I was. And the checklist is just like, yep, tick it off, tick it off, tick it off. And it's amazing how simple um, a simple reminder like that has saved our bacon, um, just even today. Um, making sure that I locked a few things away in the, in the um, bathroom before we started travelling. And one of the ones was the sliding bathroom door. Oh. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. So, but uh, my genius handyman husband fixed it. So what happened is um, this one wasn't um, locked down. So what happened, and then it's when you're bouncing along on a really busy road, uh, or bumpy road I should say, corrugations or whatever, it just literally like slid off its hinges straight across, took out our beautiful brand new um, little uh, towel fittings that Rob had had, <laughs> Rob had fitted all of these lovely towel fittings and everything, took it out, so that one's gone, we've only got one left now, um, and uh, destroyed the runner up here too but Rob fixed all of that luckily thank goodness um, and yeah so now that's on our checklist many many things are on our checklist now so but yeah thank you for taking an interest and good luck bye